So I welcome you all with a smile. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. So welcome to our English worship. Um, so as you see, it's not Pastor Park who is uh, right here um, to give the message, but he um, requested me uh, <laughs> to um, be able to give the message for today because um, he is uh, actually in the church uh, just, but he needs to give a um, uh, message to another department. So um, please bear with me. <laughs> and yes, truly, uh, with God's um, uh, overflowing grace, let us um, today really um, let us hold on to what God wants to give us, to, want, uh, to what um, word God wants us to hold on today um, uh, for our lives, to really receive the perfect answer that we may be needing right now. And uh, we know that it is um, from the word of God alone that we can receive uh, the perfect answer. Uh, so today, um, the title of our message is Why people why people are unhappy? And we read Romans three twenty three. Um, the word in Romans three twenty three said. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Um, the word sin uh, was said in um, Romans 3.23. What is this sin? Actually, When, um, in Genesis 1.1, it says, God created um, the heavens and the earth in the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. When God created the heavens and the earth, he followed a principle. What was that principle? It's like fish must stay in the water. So that fish is happy. Uh, birds, they need to stay in the sky and fly happily so that they will be happy. God created the trees to root ground, root down in the ground. And tree can really live and flourish. And also God created man. God created man in Genesis 127, it says, God created man in his own image. Amen. In his image. What does that image mean? It means man can stay with God. Man should be with God. That's the image of God. Why? Because that image allows man to worship God, allows man to love God, allows man to obey God, allows man to know God. That's the image of God. And that is what God wants in the beginning. That's why he created man in his image. And he gave the blessing for man to subdue the earth, to take control. Then man has everything, right? That image of God that is in man allows him, God allowed him to take control of everything. No problem, right? You have everything, 
you can take control of everything, nothing to worry. If we have that blessing right now, I think no one is sad. <laughs> I think so. If we have that um, blessing. But the title, as we go back to the title, why there is unhappiness. Why people are unhappy. If we look outside, of course, people are smiling, right? Enjoying, it seems. Um, uh, having good time, like that. But you can also see people who are sad. In our circle of friends, I think, you, you will know people who is depressed, sad, um, having problems. Why? Why there is unhappiness in the beginning? Um, because this is what happened. God, a man that should be with God in the beginning, what happened? In Genesis 3, The word sin came. The sin came. Why? That the time. That's the time when um, man disobeyed God. If you read Genesis three, from one to fifteen, a being came that um, tempted man. First man, Adam and Eve. Do not believe in the word of God. And who is that being? We know it's Satan. He told man that God's word is not true. It's not true. Don't follow that word. The truth is you can be God. You can be like God. And man think, oh, that's more better, right? Me being God, it's, it's better. I, sh I, uh, I, um, I can live without following God anymore, right? That thought. So what did he do? Man disobeyed God's word and fall into original sin. Original sin. And because of this original sin, Man now falls short of the glory of God. The glory of God is the true happiness. But no one can um, go there. Why? Because of original sin. Je uh, Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All have sinned. And we know that we, all people, has this original sin. And because of this original sin, people got separated from God. Separated. Man that should be with God together, enjoying everything together, enjoying every blessing together. What happened? Man got separated from God. And because of this separation, man cannot go to God anymore. And man that cannot go to God is now unhappy. And be because of this separation and original sin, man now is under Satan's control. He cannot go back to God. Now he is following Satan as he followed word of Satan and believed to his word. Because of this um, Genesis 3, why people are unhappy? First reason, first answer, because man was Separated from God. Man become ignorant 
of God. Because man was separated from God, man now doesn't know God. Even man is saying, there is no God, right? People, the, um, people who don't believe in God, they say there is no God. Why? Because from the beginning, when after Genesis 3 happened, man was separated from God. Now, they don't know that there is God. Man become ignorant of God. And now, man is in the state of sin. It says in Romans 3.10, All are sinners. All are sinners. So the word says, we are all in sin. We are in the state of sin. And then, because of we don't know God and we are in sin, what happens to mankind? Man now is in tremendous suffering, hardship, problems. When we personally, when we check ourselves, look at yourself, when you ask yourself, am I happy? Am I happy today? Right? <laughs> Have you asked yourself, am I happy today? Actually, I've asked that question for, uh, um, from the kids two weeks ago. You know their answers? Yes, we are happy. We are worshiping God. Wow. Yes, we are happy. We are praying to God. Wow. Yes. Actually, the people that really understand correct, correct worship, why we are here, sitting down here, your answer should be yes, actually, right? But, the people who are not here, the people outside, that are so many, they are in this state right now, suffering. They cannot even stand up and go out. All problems, all suffering, hardships, so many are afflicted mentally, right? Um, what is this? Depression, stress, like all this... Um, Things that make us uh, feel so hard. Uh, not just this, because of um, suffering, people are uh, living uh, meaningless lives. Because of suffering, they want to do something that can ease the suffering. So I will do this or I will do that, but all meaningless. All is leading to unbalanced, unbalanced life, as it says. And now it will lead to physical illness. People are um, having these illnesses without cure, like cancer. Or anyway, if we go to the hospital, I was like, um, I gave birth four months ago. So I often go to the hospital. It's a big hospital here in Korea. And there are a lot of people in the hospital. Full. <laughs> Different kinds of illnesses, right? Physical illnesses. Why? And these physical illnesses, does it make us happy? Of course not. When we are sick, we are sad, right? We are unhappy. I asked my husband in the morning, are you happy? He said, of course. He wakes up early in the morning, he exercised, and he went back home, and she, he is happy. He, had, he exercised, and he, he wants to do that, so he's happy. But I ask him, but what if you are sick right now and you cannot go out? Are you still happy? He said, no. <laughs> he said, no. Uh, see, yeah, right. So you know, if you cannot do something, you feel sad. So there is unhappiness, right? <laughs> there is unhappiness. But actually, um, actually, I want to ask uh, the, our newlywed uh, Teon Sam, uh, Teon teacher and uh, missionary Shin, right? Are you happy? I say yes. yes. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, being married, right? Marriage. Um, I've heard that word. Marriage makes people happy. 
makes people happy. Like, I have someone with me already, like that. But actually, um, for people who doesn't understand marriage, really, after two months of, like, um, honeymoon, <laughs> now they will enjoy uh, being together, right? Happy, going somewhere. Wow, so good. But after two months, <laughs> unhappiness begins. <laughs> Is it right? I don't know. <laughs> actually, I'm married. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, but our couple, newly uh, wed couple here, they had the covenant of um, the marriage that they had. They, there is the covenant that they hold on to. That's why, as um, our missionary said, he is happy indeed. Wow. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. But so many people, even in marriage, um, in success, in having a lot of money, yes, temporarily they become happy, right? But after some time, they go back to being not happy. Why? Problems come. Sickness come. Hardships come. Disasters come. The war that is happening right now, is it making us happy? Of course not. Why there is war? And this war is making people unhappy. Especially in the places where it is being, um, it is happening right right now. But we know that um, happy and happiness is because we were separated from God, and now it brings so much suffering. And this is actually a spiritual problem but people keeps doing a physical solution physical solution to this problem of unhappiness they want um, to become happy so so people keeps on um, giving physical solution to the actual spiritual problem this one that we have that causes unhappiness. So people, as a physical solution, do superstition. Or religion. But as people do this physical solution to this spiritual problem, does unhappiness go? No. Unhappiness, it like increases more and more. Why? This is the problem. But we keep giving the solution to that problem. So like uh, being in the hospital, the illness is not properly diagnosed, right? You are, um, maybe, maybe you have rashes, maybe you have um, allergy, like that. Then the doctor did not check, just give you medicine. Oh, you just drink this, like that. You think that rashes will go away? No, maybe. It will um, lead to more illness, right? Why? It was not properly diagnosed. So it's like, we have spiritual problem that makes us unhappy, but we keep doing physical solution to be happy physically. Second, let's see when, when did this unhappiness begin? When did it begin? Actually, it began from Adam and Eve. When Adam and Eve, the first men, were created, in Genesis 3, we knew that they disobeyed the word of God. They must follow God not to eat of that um, fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, right? 
Because that's um, the promise that we can be with God forever. But what did they do? They disobeyed God's word. And now, men fall into this root problem of Genesis 3, 1 to 15. If you read this Bible verse, we will see what happened. How men committed the original sin. Original sin. And after that, the result came. After this action, what was the result? In Genesis 3, 16 to 19, man now is in great suffering. This is, um, if you read that, man now fall into great suffering. They need, men should work hard so that you can eat. Woman, in her, in her childbirth, it's so much painful. Like all suffering came to men after they disobeyed the word of God. After they committed original sin. Number three, how long? How long will this unhappiness last? How long? Until when will, uh, will there be unhappiness? Do you know how long will it take? Actually, the Bible says it continues until now. Until now, it's happening. And happiness is happening until now. It continuously increases. It continuously increases. That's why God, uh, Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come to me, all of you who are heavy laden and burdened. You are who are weary. Tired, come to me and I will give you rest. Why? This is increasing. This hardship is not stopping. Like, it doesn't stop. It increases. And like, where should I go? But Jesus already said in his word, Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, Come to me and I will give you rest. Amen. And man who tries to solve, man um, solving the problem makes it worse. Man wants to solve the problem, so um, he's doing solution for the problem, but it's um, worsening. It's not um, giving any uh, solution to the problem. The unhappiness we have, it's getting more and more and more because of everything that is happening around right now. If we see um, technology is becoming good, right? Better. Uh, medicine is really, wow, it's like becoming more and more better in like every way. But sickness is also becoming more and more and more like we cannot find solution or medicine for this kind of sickness this kind of sickness it's becoming worse worsening even um man tries to solve it so it's continuing suffering So let's answer number four. Why thus uh, unhappiness why it continues or it doesn't um, stop. 
Why does it continue? Why? Why doesn't it go away? Right? We don't want to be unhappy. But why does it stay? Why it's still here? Because there is a being who brings unhappiness. He's um, called Satan, the devil, demon. He is the one, the being that deceived Adam and Eve in the beginning. He is the deceiver. And he exists. That's why unhappiness continues. It, um, it doesn't go away. Satan continues to deceive people. Satan continues to um, let people disobey the word of God. If we um, search for Satan more, in Revelation um, 12, 1 to 9, it says he is a fallen angel. So the Bible is clear about this being. This being is in the Bible. Um, the Bible says he is a fallen angel. What else? The prince of the air, right? As the prince of the air, he is controlling of the air right now. He is roaming around like a um, ro roaring lion, ready to devour. It's like that. He is a prince of the air. And in Matthew um, 25, 41, it says, This Satan, the devil, these demons, they are destined to go to hell. The word says they are going to hell in Matthew 25, 41. So there is this being and there is this being's um, destiny. It is revealed in the Bible. That's why unhappiness keeps um, continuing. It doesn't stop. And number five... What will happen to man who continues to become ignorant of God? What happens to man? Now, like there are six things. Man who is continuously ignorant of God, who doesn't know God, is obviously... Child of Satan. Um, living controlled by Satan. Living controlled um, by this being who gives unhappiness. And this being continuously oppressed. Oppress people by sin. That's why people continuously live in unhappiness, being oppressed by sin, by Satan. That's why if we are living here, there is no happiness, right? It's all unhappiness. There is no rest. It's all restlessness. Um, mental suffering. Physical suffering. A 
And after suffering so much, men just go to hell. And this is um, what we call eternal suffering. After suffering in this world, physically, mentally, there is eternal suffering that is waiting. And we know that this unhappiness that we are suffering, it will be inherited by the next generation. That's the most um, unhappy, maybe the, mo uh, the biggest unhappiness that um, will happen to man, to inherit this unhappiness to your children and to the next generation. And people who are suffering so much because of their ignorance of God, now continuously to find solution. But all these solutions are temporary. All man's answer to this um, problem, it's temporary. It's worldly. Worldly. It's just physical. It's, it is just um, carnal. Like want to satisfy your flesh. It's temporary and it's just to give you pleasure. And we know that pleasure, it makes you happy right now, feel good. But after a while, the unhappiness that is greater will come. Pleasure doesn't last. Yeah, I feel good right now. But after a while, it's like uh, maybe someone who takes drugs. Like in the Philippines, drug addiction is very uh, rampant. You take drug and then, wow, I'm so high, enjoying life like that. But after the effect um, of that um, drug um, goes away, now he's like, no life. Like very temporary. To, to find happiness, right? Man go, um, make his own um, ways to be happy. But it, at, um, as the word says, it's temporary. It does not last. And it brings more unhappiness. It brings more unhappiness. And because um, this solution doesn't um, give correct um, solution to the problem, people now, in number seven, people seek, seek for fortune telling. Like when I walk uh, past by downtown area, there is a street there that um, wow, it's like beautiful um, like stores and with um, signs, <laughs> very colorful and lights are very good like that. We pass by and then when I uh, check, young people are inside, young people. They are um, seeking advice from fortu uh, fortune tellers, right? Uh, yeah, it is right because there are cards. <laughs> on the uh, front, and of course, young people right now, they want to know um, how, can, uh, how should I live? Or how, what is my future? Or who should I marry, right? Or what kind of job should I get? So these questions that um, makes us, uh, especially young people, they want the answer for that. So, because why? They think it will make them happy. If they got the answer, maybe it will make them happy. 
If I know, ah, I need to go to this job, I will earn my, much money. Or, um, uh, I should marry this man. He's a good-looking man, very, uh, he has good job or he has plenty of money. I should marry this man. Or, I should, uh, I should move to another country. <laughs> Maybe my luck is there. Right? Like, you know, to find happiness. Men continuously um, want to know, want to get answer. So like most people really um, w goes to fortune telling to know the future, to know what to do. And um, people uh, seek divination. Like your horoscope, do you know that? Actually me, I am Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius, May. <laughs> you, I don't know. But anyway, in the Philippines, this is very popular. Early in the morning, at the, uh, uh, like on the te uh, televisions, they will have someone that will, okay, today your um, horoscope tells you that you will have a happy day today. Uh, you will meet this kind of people today. Early in the morning, they will... Pro um, what tell you your horoscope? What uh, will happen for your day to day like that? People and people are listening. Actually, we have like newspapers. We will buy that newspaper to find my horoscope. What wh what is my f um my day to day like that? We are doing that in the Philippines way back. I am also one, <laughs> not knowing right. I want to be happy, not knowing. I find this kind of solutions. And um, so anyway, people uh, seek answers in this world, physically. And religion. People go to religion. But can we find answer or happiness in religion? Religion doesn't know. Religion doesn't know this root problem. So what does religion do? Okay, worship this idol. I have this image. Worship this image. And you will be happy. You will find answer. If you pray to this image, you can get answer. But it doesn't give the true solution. Because we are in this root problem, spiritual problem. It's like, um, I want to uh, draw something to conclude. Um, it's like I have a house. Sorry for the drawing. <laughs> so this house is, um, uh, actually it's like, in the Philippines, our houses are made of mostly wood. From my house, experience, my personal experience. And this wood are like, um, slowly, slowly eaten by tear mites. I don't, I don't know if you have heard this, tear mites. Like small, small insect that eats wood. And then it will like make holes, holes, and then your house will just topple down <laughs> because it's really eaten. It's already eaten. So um, the solution for me, I will remove, I will remove the tear mite, right? I will get re rid of this tear mite. But actually, here is a kingdom of tear mites. There's a kingdom of tear mites. And the queen lives here. I, I don't know if you have heard that. There is queen of the tear mites. And they have like deeper kingdom below your house. Even if you remove this one, they will keep coming back. It, you remove and you repair, right? You repair. They will co keep coming um, back. Why? There is a kingdom beneath. 
that is not being removed yet. Our unhappiness, this is not physical problem. This is not because I am poor. This is not because my family is like this, my family is bad, my mother and father is like this, they are fighting always. This is not because we don't have money. This is not because um, I feel sick right now. This is not because my character is bad. That's why I am unhappy. There is a much deeper root, the source, the true source of unhappiness. And what is that? Genesis 3. It's like this. Um, this is me with big head. <laughs> So this is me, and I have um, so many problems, poverty, emotional problems, so many problems, hardships, family problems, what else, health problems, worries of the future, I have so many of this, right? So I try to make solution. Okay, I will work so I can get more money. Or I will um, leave, exercise, have healthy diet so I, my body will be stronger and I will not become sick. Or um, I will go to counseling, family counseling, so that we, will, um, we can talk together or yeah, we can get answer why our family is like this. But as you get... Um, uh, that solution, more problems come. It becomes like more and more and more. And you just become tired. You just become weary, heavily laden, burdened. You become very unhappy. Why? Because there is this root of this is a fundamental fundamental problem of Genesis 3. I call that actually three S. Sin, separation, Satan. This root, unless this is taken away, there will, no, there will be no true um, solution to this one. Unless this kingdom of Tiermite is um, taken or it is removed, this house will still be broken again and again and again. We need to know that there is a fundamental problem. I am not unhappy because of me. I am not unhappy because of my friend. I am not unhappy because of my family. I am not unhappy because of my current situation. We need to know correctly. I am unhappy because I have this fundamental problem. Unless this fundamental problem is solved, I will never be happy. I can have temporary happiness, right? If I get a lot of money right now, I can be happy. But then if it's gone, I'm sad again, like that. Unless the root problem is solved. You know, like this um, problems that we see will never go away. It will never, the unhappiness that we have, uh, will never go away. It will continue. But we know that we have the path to um, eternal freedom. We have the answer to true happiness. It 
It is Christ. Christ, Jesus said in his word, Come to me, all of you who are heavily laden, weary, burdened. Come to me and I will give you rest. Jesus said in his word, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Jesus knew onset. He knew that people will be suffering. So he said, come to me, Christ, and I will give you rest. Understanding that we have the root problem of original sin, separation, and Satan, we can find the true solution. God himself, Genesis 3.15, God himself gave the answer. After man committed original sin, at once God gave the offspring of the woman. And who is that? Jesus Christ. And you know, um, we, ne we need not do so many things. God, sorry. All we need to do is found in John um, 1, 12. All we need to know is found in John 1, 12. What is that? Believe and receive. Believe and receive. And you will have the authority to become children of God. Amen. John 1, 12. Just believe and receive. You don't need to do so many things. We have unhappiness. We want to become happy. Unhappiness is from fundamental problem. The answer is Jesus Christ. God himself gave the answer. Because God actually wants to be with us. God wants us to enjoy Emmanuel. God is with us. God wants us to enjoy the blessing of Emmanuel. And as we receive Jesus Christ, as we accept and believe Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, that is the time that true happiness will come to our life. The unhappiness that we have been experiencing, the moment that we understand the root cause of unhappiness, and find that the true solution is Christ. That's the time that truly we can um, enjoy true happiness. Amen. Amen. After hearing the message, maybe if I ask, now, are you truly happy? Yes. Wow. <laughs> it should be yes, right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. As we um, truly receive the word today, we have so many friends around us. We have families around us. I pray that we really see them having the root problem in their lives. I pray that we see them having the fundamental problem. That's why they are um, experiencing unhappiness in their lives. As we um, receive this word, truly I pray that we can hold on to this correctly. 
um, hold on to this um, as the perfect answer for our lives today and the lives um, of the people that uh, we are with and we will be meeting someday. Um, let us pray and end with our Lord's Prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for by your grace, by your um, overflowing grace, you have given us the word, your word today as the perfect answer for our lives. Thank you, God, that you have revealed to us that our unhappiness is because of the fundamental problem that we have from the beginning. Thank you, God, that um, as you revealed to us that we have this um, fundamental problem, you have given us the solution that is Jesus is the Christ. May we hold on to this um, perfect solution for our lives, the gospel, that Jesus is the Christ. He is the solution to all our problem. And he is the true source of the real happiness. Thank you, God, um, that we will bring this joy, true joy, true happiness in our lives. And it will truly shine as a light to um, conquer the darkness that is surrounding us. Thank you, God, that it is um, by the light of Christ um, that uh, everyone can see that all they need is to really accept believe and accept Jesus Christ in their lives. Thank you, God, um, that uh, um, everyone who is here today truly will hold on firmly to your word today. Thank you, God. Um, everything truly is um, upon your divine and great will. Thank you for your um, unending grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned us. And not lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, actually, we have new uh, comers today. So um, we want to welcome our new friends. They are from South Africa, right? Yes. Um, at the back, yes, we have um, Hendrika, mom, yes, and her daughter, Annette, yes. So we welcome you today. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you for being with us today. Um, we hope to see you <laughs> more and more. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, you want to? Okay, thank you.